Are we filming? You're gonna, you're gonna film that way. Are we filming? I've just gotta limber up. You on? Which is a stretch. It's day four. It's day four. Day four. Day yes. four. At the NAMM show. Feel free to join in. Anyway. Okay, it's the final day. This is a slightly back to front video as we squeezed some playing in on the Alvarez stand last night. So if we wear something different, that so might yeah, be why. we're wearing different things or we look more tired. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Definitely. Alvarez has uh, been a brilliant uh, acoustic guitar brand for Anderton's over the last couple of years. Yep. Beautiful, beautiful guitars uh, that sit, you know, from reasonably affordable through to sort of mid-price guitars. Yeah. Nothing too crazy. Yeah. Um, great value, great value, great feeling, great Got a sounding. Lovely heritage from the uh, like yeah, Japanese would... Kai Yari. Oh, I always say that wrong, so sorry about that. But anyway, here's what's <laughs> new for 20. I need a 2022. That's going to be my like, Here's what's new, new for, for 2022. 2022. But it's obviously if we if we make it that longly. Hey, there is plenty in, in 2020. 2020. All right. Okay, we've just realised that. Um, the two coolest things that we played last night don't appear to be on display here. No. What were they, Pete? They were an eight-string baritone guitar, which was like, what? What? But then when you when we plug them in and we had a play on them, listen to it, it makes perfect sense. So Massive sound. Well, yep, yeah, anyway, you'll see that in a minute. You'll Stay see tuned. that in a minute. So these are all Masterworks Elites. Yes. So Masterworks, if you look in the Alvarez range and you see a guitar called Masterworks, that means it's an all solid wood guitar. Solid top, solid back, solid sides. Yeah. And the Elites are the cutaway electroacoustic versions. Um, so you can see on here, you've got dreadnoughts, grand auditoriums, various uh, timber combinations and finishes. Um, With cool little uh, elbow cuts here. I like, I like this little... The armrest. Armrest, sorry, elbow cuts. Elbow I don't know cut. what that means. Wow. That's when you I've fall over. I've never heard an elbow, elbow cut. cut before. That's my second difficult second album I'm bringing out. It's called Elbow Cuts. <laughs> it's coming in 2022. <laughs> uh, is that with your band, um, what's it called? Baby Robot Killer? Killer, killer uh, Baby killer Robot. Killer Robot Baby. Killer, killer robot, robot Baby. baby. Anyway, in joke. Um, and then over here is the uh, Artist Elite range, which yeah. has been expanded. So uh, Artist Elite is, uh, sits below Masterworks Elite, so it's solid top, but laminate back and sides. Uh, but again, all electroacoustic guitars. Super beautiful guitars. Um, these are crazy affordable. Like this is, you might be looking at these guitars thinking, oh, that looks like, you know, a thousand pound guitar or something, but they're not, they're about half that. They're you know what, it looks pounds. to me like much more expensive guitars, because if you look at, at some, at the flame, I know it's laminate back and sides here, but look at that flame. That's laminate. It, you know. I'm laminate. <laughs> I'm laminate. <laughs> oh my God, it's so day four. <laughs> anyway, let's go in That's to the, the booth of doom let's do for it. Uh, some guitar playing. Cut to last night. Let's run you through some new guitars for Alvarez for 2020. We had an amazing year with these guys in 2019. Um, 2020 though, now allegedly, <laughs> uh, 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 the, the, the story goes that uh, when uh, one of the Alvarez chaps was uh, at Anderton's and asking some of our staff, you know, what, what, what was cool, you know, what do they think was cool in the world of guitars? They were like eight string baritones. Because years ago, years ago, we did some Taylor eight-string baritones, and um, they sounded great. Everybody sort of fell in love with them, and it's a quirky kind of it's very twelve-string really, because yeah. the, the two octaves are just on the D and the G string, and the rest of it's just like a regular baritone. Yeah. But it sounds your fingers huge. has to get used to it because it's like you're playing here. Let and me then, hold your microphone while you strum. And uh, when you come down here, so you get and then you get the octave there. I wonder why it works so well with just two strings with the octave. I don't 
know? Is this? Is, is it, it? Do you think it's a, that obviously on a twelve-string that the top two strings aren't tuned to an octave anyway? Yeah. And the bottom two strings on a baritone would just be too over the top. But anyway, works great. Two different colours, as you can see. There's a, a satin black one that I've got, and the I should say, I say satin. It's gloss on the front, isn't it? Satin on the back. Uh, and then Pete's got uh, like a, a honey burst. Oh. It looks great. It does look so great. So we like these a lot. Yeah. You're probably, well, no, you are hearing these. They're both electroacoustics, as uh, I'm sure you can see on the side here. And we're both plugged into a little amp, so that's what you're hearing. Check this out. Uh, LR Bags Element Systems in them. If you want to do like a. Uh, so if you like a. You get the octave there. To be? I would think so. Probably. I would think so, yeah. There's a tuner in there. That's very, very cool. No, there's no tuner. There's no tuner. The tuner is just go, I don't know what this is. Right. Okay, let's try two more. Let's we like do it. these. Yeah. So these will be in the shops, I guess, springtime, something like that. Um, 2020. There we are. What's that model number, just in case? Alvarez model numbers. My uh, favorite model numbers. Uh, and those of are all the brands that we deal with. <laughs> yeah, Ibanez and Alvarez. The uh, ABT 60CE 8BK. Rolls off the tongue. It anyway, right, let's try two more. I only know what they are in America. They're about $550 in the States. So, assuming that we get some sort of relatively, you know, par translation into pounds, about 500 quid, I guess. Insane. That is insane value. Absolutely insane. What? Anyway, cool. So, hey man, couple of next two guitars. So, Masterworks Elite is the kind of top of the range stuff that you're going to get from Alvarez. Um, Masterworks, anything Masterworks from Alvarez usually means that the, it's a solid wood guitar, so solid top, solid back and sides. And uh, the Elite thing uh, refers to the kind of the cutaway electroacoustic kind of vibe on it. Yeah. So these are both a Grand Auditorium kind of vibe. Uh, what's your wood combo? Uh, it is all solid black walnut. It's Ooh. got this um, this sort of armrest here, and I absolutely. Is it an ebony armrest on that? Look at that. No, They're pretty, see, aren't they? The beveled kind the, of armrest. Yeah, with the abalone uh, and stuff. So mine's a slightly more traditional Sitka spruce top with the the black walnut back and sides. Uh, again, same, all the same kind of features like the the bevel and the the Alvarez uh, bridge. Um, it's got a slight V to the feel to the neck. I feel. I like the so fact that the really back of the nice. neck is yeah it has got a V and it's satin yeah, as well it's so beautiful. it's not the back of the neck isn't gloss finished yeah, um, and the LR bag system in there as well yeah so you've got the, the, the system where I love these I must admit I always think if you're going to buy a really nice acoustic guitar kind of like having the the, the dump on door. The yeah, I mean, I I understand. I actually think it's it's super practical having all your controls yeah. here, but it does somewhat take no, but something just, away listen, from what, the what aesthetic. Did you, did, don't, don't give don't give I mean, the guitar I, player I, options I, I, because they they get confused with too many knobs. I've just got one in my acoustic guitars. I do a gold plus there, I plug it straight in, and I give this down to the sound guy. because you have a and sound they, man. And then they can just sort it out. Wow. Um, so that, these are these are uh, yeah Masterworks elites. Yeah. Uh, Beautiful, very very guitars. cool. And again, wow. uh, I'm fairly sure that these are these are about 700 pounds I think in the UK, which oh, man, is it. super competitive for an all an all solid wood Absolutely. guitar, handcrafted. Me likey likey likey. Uh, I love cool. this armrest here.
people are. So these next two fine beauties. Is my mic on? It is on. Do excuse us, it's the end of a very long day. <laughs> so these are Artist Elite models from Alvarez, which is, uh, we talked about Masterworks Elite on the last two, that's top of the range. This is like mm. the next one down. So yep. you still get the beautiful solid tops, you still get all the sexy colours, you still get all these incredible bevelled edges, this one with the maple bevel bevelled edges. Bevel up. Bevel up. But now we go back to a, a more conventional kind of laminate back and sides. Yeah. Um, and but of course the price that, comes down as well. But check out this flame... It's still laminate, but yeah. check out the flame on oh, this. Oh, they put monster veneers on the laminates Absolute. to get. Check I mean, they, they look Ooh. amazing, but they're obviously uh, a little bit more cost-effective to yeah. build. Which is cool. uh, and of course, the price comes down. Yeah, uh, we're back to um, an LR bags Element Stage Pro on here, which actually I got wrong on the baritones and said it didn't have a tuner. If I'd have pressed the button marked Tune. Uh, it would have lit up and I'd have seen it. So he thought those it said tuner. They, and did, and like they did have a tuner. Uh, but it was like, I don't press same, that. Same yeah, neck. Same kind of V. Kind v, of shape like the V thing. shape, a really nice V. Gives yeah. it that kind of um, old v, school v Martin shape. kind of um, <laughs> V shape. Yeah, but satin finish on the back, which is yeah. definitely more comfy That's to funny, play than, how, than how, those how what a V shape neck gives it like a V kind of a V. I'll give you the V in a minute. So... What have you got? I've got I've got a spruce top got? here. I've got an ebony um, again. This this beautiful armrest, which I love because we everybody says, ah, oh, that's not that doesn't matter. Mm. But actually, oh, it does. Um, it, when it's all about the armrest. If arm I'm rest. standing up playing acoustic guitar, I do that a lot. If I've mm. done it on gigging, my arm will get all sore and red here on that bit. <laughs> Such I a wuss. Really <laughs> that's exactly. I can just say, that's, that's all. That's all that Bob oh, Dylan used to say. Yeah, oh, my arm. That's why he wrote so many protest songs. Like <laughs> my arm's so sore after playing my guitar. <laughs> Um, I have got uh, I've got a cedar top guitar I think you can see the grain cedar is quite guitar. different uh, and then I believe this very exotic looking wood on the back and side is acacia um, it's a case of what? It? Was it banana man it's that lived at uh, 999 <laughs> Acacia Avenue in Acacia yeah Oh, here we go. We're and being the thrown out. We're being, close we're being thrown out by the show announcers. Anyway, yeah. look, these are great. They are. Uh, great. I think these are even under five hundred pounds. Yeah, uh, they might even be less than that. It's crazy. I'll put, as always, links in the description below where you can find out about these guitars. They're so pretty. Incredible value so for money, pretty. There, isn't it? So there we go. Thank you very much. Thanks for following all our NAM coverage. Uh, that's it. That's us at Alvarez. Another one. Boom. Yeah. Only thirty-five thousand more stands to go. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, there is plenty in 2020. 2020. All right.